Hello everyone, welcome back to VFX Factory once again and today we will create this beautiful cinematic scene inside of Unreal Engine 5. And before starting the video, let me wish you all a very very happy new year to everyone. So without much further ado, let's start the video. So open up your Unreal Engine 5 and let's go to File, New Level, select Empty Level here. You can select any of this. So I'm taking this Direction Light, Skylight and let's make this both as movable. Okay. After then go to visual effect and add some sky atmosphere, some height fog and let me go to skylight and enable this real time capture and go to content browser and create a new folder and I will rename this as something like hill and I will import a, a 3d mesh of hill. I will provide this in the description you can download that. Okay this one. So import that and I will enable this nanite import then close this then drag and drop this into our scene and if I go to my location I will reset this location to 0 ok and I will lock this one scale to scale it in every direction so I will increase it as 10 ok then prepare a scene where you want to add the house so i will add here so let's go to content browser again right click here create a new folder and i will rename this as house and let's import the house also i will provide its link in the description so this is the fvx and let's import all after then you can see all 3d meshes are here so i will select this all by ctrl a select anywhere and control a and drag and drop here and just place anywhere you want to place it decrease its size and rotate place it wherever you want okay so take your time and place it in a good position good location okay after then you can see in the right side i will select all the component of this house and move this to the separate folder so select this all like this and you can see i have selected so right click move to and here i will create a new folder and name as house okay now this is in a separate folder so select this all and if you want to adjust a little bit then you can do that okay after that what we will do then you can see here is no material is applied so open the material folder you can see four materials are available you can see okay so let's select this all and drag and drop to our content folder like this okay so let's you can see these are the folders so if you can see in the left side this is the hill folder and this is the house only two components are there so if i start from the this one okay you can see only textures are there no materials are there so create a new material what is its name i don't know my pronouns may be wrong so open that and let's drag and drop the texture to here okay this to this and drag and drop here and maximize this so simply connect this to the respective uh, color like best color to base color normal to normal and roughness to roughness okay then save this and in this way do this for rest of the textures okay let's close this and let's go to another one like planks and here also same process create a material and rename this and go inside double click and simply drag and drop the textures drag and drop connect color channel to the color and normal to normal and roughness to roughness ok and save it then we will apply these two material in our house or our mesh ok so let's go to this one and let's apply this 
to here and you can see this is perfectly applied so let's apply wherever it work okay and i will go to another one and here i will start applying everywhere so i will speed it up okay in this way so let's add some more details to our environment so let's go to quicksell bridge and if i go to 3d asset go to history and here we have some options you can see just play around these options and you can get lots of varieties lots of ideas okay you can implement that so i have already downloaded for me for my environment so i will simply go to my local browser and if i go down you can see lots of components are there i am going to use so first what i will do i will import this one first so click here and you can see i have already downloaded in the night so all i have to do is export it okay simply export it after exporting simply open the content browser and here you can see i will simply drag and drop and start creating the borderline or what you can say this okay so decrease its size to 0.5 and rotate it okay so guys take your time and it will take some time to make a beautiful environment so play around it and you can see so you can see this work is finished now let's add some tree around this so that it will give us some depth for tree i am using this mega scan tree from the epic games so simply add that tree to your project like this is my project tutorial 2 so i will add this to my project after adding you can see the folder european harbon so simply open geometry go to pivot painter and you can see lots of trees are there so i will apply one by one before that let me create a camera so that we can see through a particular frame and work accordingly so select the camera right click and snap object to view again go to perspective select cinematic again select your camera okay let's change the lens setting and camera setting to dslr and this one will be 30 mm and i will change its uh, squeeze factor to 1.2 so that i will get some little wide angle okay so let's add some trees manually first okay so if i go down here just simply drag and drop and you can do it manually or you can do it by foliage option i will decrease its size a little bit like 0.5 let me show you 0.5 okay so this much height is better this is also 0.5 and actually i want to use this by foliage so i will select the foliage and simply select some trees whatever you want to apply okay this much and drag and drop after that just select all the trees in foliage and go down decrease its size by 0.1 minimum and maximum will be 0.5 okay then go to density and decrease to 10 and pen density will be something like 0.1 and decrease the brush size little bit like 100 and start apply wherever you want to apply it means just you have to do is cover your area okay so that it will look better okay select any of these trees and apply wherever you want wherever you want to cover that okay so you can see now let's add some material to our ground so you can see this area is empty so go to quicksilver bridge 
and I have already downloaded I am not going to browse again and again okay so this one is my grass material I will export this after exporting simply drag and drop to our mesh and you can see tiling is so big so double click on material and go to tiling here and just increase its value to 20 by 20 and you can see this is looking perfect okay so save it and close this and let's add some small rocks to here so already downloaded so again i will go to quicksell and if i go down again and again uh, yes you can see here these are some rocks that i have downloaded so guys please take your time and select whatever you want from the quicksell bridge and work according to your imagination okay so i will export this and i will start apply all the rocks i will click on starting mesh to see only the meshes and start applying just take your time and create your own imaginations okay after then we will add some more details like uh, some extra trees in front of our house so that we will get some shadow okay just apply and change the light direction to check how this is working or not okay so this is perfect for me and then i will duplicate this again one more time to increase the area okay just like this okay yes that's fine so let's go to quick bridge again and now what i will do is i will export everything that i want to use here so so that i won't open this bridge again and again and irritate you okay so i have already exported you can see grasses are also there so let's go to 3d plant let's open foliage and here i will apply some grasses okay so let's select the grasses here make sure everything is deselected okay make sure that after then select only the grasses that you want to apply just like this okay then if i go down i will decrease the size minimum 0 0.1 0 0.1 and maximum will be 1 let's check here uh, brush will be 50 let's check first yes this is too much big okay so let's change the scale little bit uh, let me change the light setting maybe this is perfect size the grass yes this is perfect actually okay i don't have to decrease or increase the size you can see shader are compiling so let's, let me go down and increase uh, sorry decrease the size by 0 0.8 or 0 0.5 and I will increase the pen density by 0 0.3 or 0 0.5 will be better. One will be perfect. Okay. So I am applying here. So take your time and apply. Change the value, change the scale. Okay. Change everything and just see what is happening. In this way, you can practice perfectly. Okay. So I am covering everywhere with the grass. You can see now the seal now i will add some decals so here i have some decals from the quicksell bridge so let's start from here so simply drag and drop decrease the scale and place it for the opacity just like this and this is also time taking so just drag and drop wherever you want to apply just see your scene okay check your scene and do accordingly after applying the decals i will go to my static mess and i will apply this one this is a important thing in this kind of environment okay 
so I will simply drag and drop this to here and let's rotate this little bit something like this and place it uh, place I have to place it a little bit down maybe yes that's perfect and then this one okay decrease the size just play around with guys and this is so awesome you don't need to uh, take care of anything just just imagine and work accordingly okay you can see now this area is empty okay this house area is empty in the back side so let's uh, hide the foliages for some time so that we can work behind so I will go to the shape tool and add a cube and decrease the scale and rotate the scale sorry and I will decrease sorry sir I am extremely sorry I will increase its size and rotate it like this and yes let's apply the material whatever material you can add and now this is perfect let's unhide the foliage actor uh, this one to see how this is looking yes this is perfect guys okay so just change the light direction and add some volumetric fog to here so here is my fog I will increase its value by 0 0.2 and you can see the depth this is looking so realistic and if I go down and turn on the volumetric fog this is extremely beautiful and this is all we want So in this way you can create beautiful 3D environment inside of Unreal Engine 5. If you like this video, if this video is helpful for you, please give a thumbs up to this video. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel for more Unreal Engine related videos on filmmaking. So see you again in the next time. Have a nice day.